are they, I, I presume they feel that she's not really a candidate for cognitive therapy at this point? Or just isn't the resources to give it to just, her? Just, yeah, I, you know, no one has said anything to her. What were her... I didn't even know about cognitive therapy, really. What were I mean, I, I, if you mean by that, like, I have a workbook where, you know, we, I repeat, like, five sentences. She has to repeat it after me. I, like, you know, she can add, you know, she knows the timetables, you know, she knows, she knows a lot. <laughs> She really does. I, you know, she knows all the letters, all the sounds. You know, you show her pictures, numbers, letters. I mean, she can read. Uh, she has trouble. I mean, if you just say one word, she can read it. But as far as reading like a magazine or something, that's that's because of the vision issues. Yeah, I I think so. I do because it it's there. I mean, it really is. It, it's just uh, yeah, the vision. So I'm hoping. Have you had her classified as far as her vision issues? She's been given a formal diagnosis for her vision problem. Well, we just went and saw this super duper specialist. He's the only one in of forty people in the country. Is he a neuro ophthalmologist? No, I did go see a neuro ophthalmologist at USF, and he said that her both left quadrants were, you know, she could. That's the problem. She can't see out of both of these sides, and um, it was irreparable. Does she have cere cerebellum or brainstem damage? No. What's, where is the damage? Is that from what they took out? I don't know. I don't know. We've never had any kind of like assessment of anything. You know, I just get out of the hospital and it's all up to you.